Ahoy tech enthusiasts, it's your favorite coding maestro, Big Papa Code, back with more delicious bites of wisdom. Today, we're navigating the intricate labyrinths of coding with a trusty torch called the Multiple Pointers Pattern. So strap in and ready your minds. Ever hopped on Hacker Rank or Leet Code and feel like you're dropped into an abyss when a pesky problem is presented? and found yourself trapped in the spiraling loops of inefficiency, feeling the weight of every wasted microsecond, and your pal the traditional for loop can't save you. Dramatic, I know. How do we streamline and supercharge our approach? Picture a colossal bookshelf brimming with thousands of volumes. Now imagine you're tasked with finding two specific titles. One strategy might be to start from each end, one bookmark from the start, the other from the finish, moving inwards by working simultaneously from both ends, you can cover more ground quickly and efficiently. Elegant, isn't it? In the dynamic realm of coding, the multiple pointers pattern is akin to our dual bookmark strategy. It involves using two or more pointers, like array indices or object keys, to traverse through a data set searching for a pair of values that fulfill a certain condition. Instead of laboriously scanning datasets with nested loops, we strategically position our pointers to optimally traverse the data, often resulting in a considerable decrease in time complexity. So just as our bookmarks zip through the bookshelf from opposite ends, our multiple pointers dash through datasets, making our algorithms faster and more efficient. It's about embracing the art of collaboration, even within the confines of an array or a list. Embracing the multiple pointers pattern is like having multiple allies on your coding journey. With it, problems that once seemed insurmountable suddenly become approachable puzzles, waiting to be solved with grace and elegance. It's the poetry of coding where multiple protagonists come together, working in tandem to achieve that sweet symphony of optimal performance. Continuing our exploration of the multiple pointers pattern, let's delve into a practical example to truly understand how this strategy unfolds in real code. Imagine we're on a treasure hunt for a pair of golden numbers in a sorted array that add up to our target sum. We position our pointers left at the start and right at the very end. These are our scouts, each starting at opposite ends to efficiently scour the terrain. As our search begins, we keep these scouts on the move, ensuring they don't cross until every possibility has been explored. Each scout reports the sum of the numbers they're examining. Uh, if they hit our target, fantastic. We've found our golden pair and returned them immediately. But what if the sum isn't right? If it's too low, we push our left pointer rightward, aiming to increase our total. If it's too high, we pull our right pointer leftward trying to reduce it. This smart adjustment helps us fine tune our search, allowing us to zero in on the target efficiently without retracing our steps or wasting time. If in the end our scouts haven't located the target, it means no such pair exists in this array. We simply return none, acknowledging that not every expedition leads to treasure, but each teaches us something new. And just like that, using the multiple pointers pattern, we efficiently navigate through our array, optimizing our search and avoiding the chaos of unnecessary checks. It's not always just about coding, it's about strategizing and executing with precision. So grab this technique, apply it, and watch your code run smoother and faster like a well-oiled machine. Until next time, dear coders, keep those brackets in line and may your code be ever bug free. Peace, family. See you next time. To stay in touch and chat with me, directly text CODE to me at 404-962-0908. I will also notify you about new episodes and local events in your area that I am attending. 
If you do social media, follow me on LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube with the username Big Papa Code, and definitely listen to the podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and iHeartRadio. Man, they call me Mr. CTO. I'm the one that you should call when you're learning code. Success, follow me around if you didn't know. From the bottom, so the top, the only way to go. Yeah, man, they call me Mr. CTO. I'm the one that you should call when you're learning code. Success, follow me around if you didn't know. From the bottom, so the top, the only way to go. this game from a humble beginning, but now we went and came up. Playing the bat like apprentice, but I removed the limits. I started studying my craft.